Gear reduction is more efficient than belt, and yet most paramotor engines out there rely on belt. Why is it so? Let's talk about the less obvious aspects of the reduction. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Paramotor Geometries classroom series. We are shooting some update videos. This time we are discussing various aspects of the engine design. I hope this will be helpful for you. Two options, gear versus belt. Uh, gear reduction, here I have a uh, uh, Vitarazzi Atom 80 and belt reduction, that's uh, MI19. But there are plenty of other engines using gear reduction like the Top 80, Polini and so on. And there's, there's again a very interesting pattern. Why is it so that it's mostly small engines using gear reduction and the mid-range engines using belt and again when you keep adding power and uh, and cubic centimeters the really large engines go back to gear reduction as well like the Polini 250 or the new Vitarazzi Cosmos 300. It's a very interesting pattern it has some reasons though they're a bit less obvious. Let's start with the very obvious things belt is lighter is very simple and this makes it also very cheap while the gear is heavier more complex and a bit more expensive mostly obvious is that the belt is a bit less efficient why because it heats up a little bit more and the belt may slip a little and that's why you lose a little bit of that energy it requires some maintenance you should check it now and then uh, you should replace it now and then yeah you should play, replace it about 100 hours it's not expensive it doesn't take much time but yes you need to deal with it with gear you have a little bit less trouble and it's more reliable you just replace change the oil now the less obvious thing is the belt is very compact and it's shallow in depth while the gear is just bulky it just grows backwards and places the prop further from the engine and further from your back. Let's have a look at the drawing to explain why. Here we have um, drawings of two engines, very similar engines, Master 185 and the Polini 200. Now note that the overall depth of the Master 185 is 250. And if you would actually measure it from the prop plate to the engine mount, it would be 230 only. Now with the Polini 200, from the prop plate to the end of the engine mount is 324. It's a lot deeper, it's a bulkier engine. Part of that is caused by the cooling. Here's the fan that generates the airflow and it takes a bit more space. But it's just beefy on the other side. Uh, have a look at this gearbox. So it's twice as deep as the belt because here you basically put the prop directly on the large pulley. You just drill six holes, do the thread and you're done. But here it's a lot more complicated. So you have the two gears, they have to be enclosed in the case. That case takes some space. Then you need bearings on each side while here they are inside the pulley. Here you have you need them on, on, the, on each side and uh, then you need to seal the, the case for the gearbox and just it just get it just grew twi to the twice the size of of, uh, of a belt reduction now what are the implications not so obvious the closer you place the weight the closer you place the center of gravity of the engine to your back the lighter it feels we covered this in one of the earlier chapters carrying the paramotor the closer you have the center of gravity to your back the lighter it feels if the center of gravity goes further back it will kind of pull you backwards it just feels heavier even in well, given the same weight less gyroscopic effect well basically the gyroscopic effect is kind of the same because it's derived from the prop uh, spinning and weight but it is on a lower on a shorter leverage now let's talk about the implications of having the engine more deep so higher depth causes the engine to feel heavier so two engines with the same weight but one being deeper that is the center of gravity being further away from your back will just feel heavier why as you're standing carrying the motor on your back it's further away from your back so it kind of pull you more backwards it feels heavier you will have more gyroscopic effect or to be precise 
the gyroscopic effect will be more noticeable because it's on a, a higher lever on a longer leverage thirdly engines with uh, gear reduction they need to have forced cooling or water cooling that increases the weight on top of that these are not really implications for you these are implications for engine designers when engine manufacturers design an engine in the mid-range they go for the lighter simpler uh, uh, um, system because then they can use prop cooling and save weight on already a pretty heavy engine and 200 cc you get the weight for small engines efficiency is the key because you want to get the horsepower of the small uh, of the small cylinder and the piston that's why the most designers go for the gear reduction the same applies to big fat engines for trikes and slalom racing you want to get the most power that you that you uh, possibly can so gear reduction again next topic diaphragm versus float carburetor and after that comes the four stroke and two stroke question yeah that always raises a lot of interest anyway if you have any other questions if you want us to add some more chapters and discuss things please leave a comment or send me an email i would gladly reply if i can besides please hit the subscribe button and thank you very much for sharing this knowledge see you soon